Hello everybody, it's Liz from Zunia Berry Designs and welcome. I am coming to you with this video about how to size your planner, digital planner in Keynote that you are creating. Now there are a lot of tutorials out there on how to make a digital planner, but you may not necessarily know how to size your planner for your iPad and for your note taking app. Yes, it is important to size it for the plan iPad that you are working on and for the note take app that you prefer. I did create a video earlier on that talked about being frustrated about purchasing planners online, digital planners, and when you bring them into your iPad, into your preferred note taking app, you find that there's some wasted spaces on the edges. They don't fit full screen. And that's a little bit frustrating because, you know, the more space we have to work with, the better. That's what I think. So in any case, if you are interested in creating your own digital planner, you just don't know where to start in terms of the size of it, I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks and tutorial on this. So right now I'm in the Keynote app and I just brought up um, a presentation and I haven't resized it yet, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my document setup and go to slide size. There are some predetermined slide sizes already in there. Those aren't necessarily for digital planning. Um, so we're gonna go into the custom size. Right now it's sized for like a widescreen uh, view. I plan on an iPad Pro 12.9. Now I've gone online and determined what the size, my screen resolution size, what size my screen is for my iPad Pro 12.9. And you can do the same thing for your particular iPad that you work on. So I know that the iPad Pro 12.9 is 2732. So we're just gonna type that in 2732 by 2048. Done. Okay, let's be done there. So now here I have as my slide size. However, what you're going to find, and I'm going to show you, walk you through this, is that this also, this slide size, even though I've made it for my iPad Pro 12.9, is not going to fit properly into either, you know, the couple of the most popular apps, GoodNotes or Note Shelf. And I'll tell you why. So I'm just going to delete this. We don't need it. I don't even need to delete it. But what I want to do is change the background color so it's, so it's just darker so that you can see what I am doing. We're going to export this as a PDF, and right now we're going to just export it into, let's start with GoodNotes. We're going to export it into GoodNotes as a new document, import to documents, and here it is. This is the PDF that I created that I'm going to use as my digital planner. But you can see, exporting it into GoodNotes on the iPad 12, Pro 12.9, there are some wasted spaces on the edges. And that is because you have to compensate for the toolbar at the top. Uh, GoodNotes has quite a bit of real estate that you have to compensate for. So you can, if I take everything off, like the extra, you can still see that there are wasted spaces along the edges, but you are not going to use your digital planner like this. You have no ability to use any of the tools. So you do have to toggle on and the drop down menu comes down. And even with the drop down menu still down, you have a lot of wasted spaces. And sometimes, honestly, I like to put up two things that I can toggle back and forth. And, you know, that's the wrong, sorry. <laughs> there is still a lot of wasted space and you want to figure this out. You want to have a planner that you create for yourself that fills up this whole screen. Now I hope I hope GoodNotes is going to take away the drop down menu. I think it would be nice if you could fill the whole screen larger than than down here. It you know, I'll show you in Notechef, but Notechef has their their menu just built in at the top with no drop down and I think it gives me more real estate with my planner. I have more space to work with and I really love that. So one day I hope GoodNotes takes away the drop down menu and gives us a little bit more real estate for our digital planners. So what you have to do in order to have your planner go from side to side and fill this whole screen is you have to compensate for this real estate up here. Because remember, we created this with the screen resolution of the whole entire size. So we have to um, decrease 
the height by whatever we think this is. And I'm just going to give you roughly, I've, I've been playing around with the Pro 12.9 and the Pro 11, and it's roughly, you're going to have to play around with this, but anywhere between 100 and I would say 400 pixels, you have to decrease. So let's just go back to Keynote. So we know we have to decrease the height of this in order for it to fill that whole space. So I'm going to go back to Document Setup slide size and here's my height so I mean how about if I just kind of take 200 pixels off or 250 how about 1750 I'm just I'm just guesstimating I don't know and we're gonna press done and done and you can see already that it's lengthened and the height has gone gone down so let's just give it a try we're going to export this PDF one more time. We're going to export it into GoodNotes and import as a new document, import to documents. And already you can see that those dimensions have worked beautifully to fill in your whole space. This was the original, my screen size of my iPad Pro 12.9. It leaves some wasted spaces, but when I compensated for this amount up here, I now have a planner that fits the whole screen. I can't do anything about this drop down menu. It takes up a lot of the real estate, but now my planner at least fits the whole screen and I can use a lot more real estate. The same thing is true for note shelf. So you know, if we go into note shelf, you can see that this note shelf has a smaller amount of real estate. So we're going to see if we can figure out <laughs> just by working at this. Um, I'm going to go back into, let me see, document setup and to the slide size and the custom size. So I know that my height is a little bit higher in note shelf because there's not as much real estate. So I'm going to go maybe I don't know I'm just guessing honestly it's all about playing around 1920 and press done and done and let's see when we import this into note shelf if it will fit the whole screen size so I'm gonna just oh let's see export as a PDF export we're gonna open it in note shelf and done and it doesn't for note shelf it doesn't directly open note shelf i have to physically go into note shelf create new and there we go yeah so that size works it fills in the whole screen it takes into account the top toolbar so i've decreased the height of it the height of the toolbar and i'm just guesstimating these numbers so this is kind of what works on the ipad pro 12.9 you have to work with your ipad size your screen resolution size and you have to decrease your size i would start anywhere between 100 to 300 pixels and just keep playing around until you find a size that fits your note taking app now i don't know what note taking app you prefer good notes note shelf notability Zoom notes, there's so many note-taking apps. I don't know which one you prefer for your digital planning, but you have to take into account how much of the toolbar takes up your screen size. And that is how you determine <laughs> your dimensions to, to make to create your digital planner. So I hope this has helped some of you, and um, we will see you in the next video, and thanks for stopping by and watching.